Hi, what we've got here is a vector question. Um, you might like to have a go at it. Just pause the video and come back when ready. Okay, well what we've got here then is that in this question i and j are horizontal unit vectors due east and due north respectively. And position vectors are given with respect to a fixed origin. So we're told that a ship S is moving with constant velocity minus 12i plus 7.5j kilometers per hour. And what we've got to do is find the direction in which S is moving, giving your answer as a bearing. Well, first of all, to appreciate this, what I would want to do is draw a sketch. And I'm going to take north up the page like so. And we've got the unit vectors i, let's just put them over here. i goes due east and we'll mark that in like so and j is a unit vector in the northerly sense. So with this we've got the ship s is moving with a constant velocity of minus 12i plus 7.5j. So what that means is that essentially that we move 12 units to the left because we've got minus 12i to seven and a half units in the positive j sense. And these are the components of the vector that describes the movement of the ship S. And I can put that in as a solid line like that. So this is the vector describing S. This component in length is 12 units and this one up here is 7.5 units. Now I know this is not to the same scale as what I've got here so please don't write in and just say oh we haven't got them the same as these vectors. This is just a sketch just to illustrate what's going on. So when it comes to find the direction in which S is moving given your answer as a bearing what we need to give is this turn in here turning clockwise from north all the way around to here okay. So we've got 270 degrees which is three quarters of a turn and then we've just got to find this angle in here theta say. Okay and we can get theta very easily because we know that the tan of angle theta compares the opposite side to the adjacent. So we've got tan theta equals 7.5 divided by 12. And if we take the inverse tan of both sides you get theta equals the inverse tan then of 7.5 divided by 12. And if you put your calculator in degrees mode you should find that you get 32.005 and so on degrees. So when it comes to giving this bearing then we can say that therefore the bearing okay, of S equals 270 degrees plus the 32.005 and so on degrees. Now we need to give bearings generally as three figures. Okay, So when you do this, this is going to come to 302 degrees and I'm going to say that's to 3 SF. Three significant figures. Okay, so let's give you an idea on that type of question.